game is started. <clears throat> oh my gosh, is it possible? Do we have a game? Quick, better play move before my opponent realizes I'm 16 and 0. It's been a long time sitting here trying to find a game. I think I need this game and another one, and then I'll be up to three Don, and that hopefully won't be as much of a problem anymore. Um, actually, it'll still be a problem, won't it? Because I'll be three Don, and it'll still say 18 and 0, I guess, in theory, assuming I win these next two games. Which, there's always a danger I don't. Um, anyway, yeah, this <laughs> ranking up to three on actually doesn't solve my long, long wait times to find a game. All right, on this side, uh, for some reason, black is playing this really high uh, sort of enclosure. It doesn't really enclose because white still has attachments in here and can, of course, undercut this way. That's interesting. Interesting move. So we'll just keep that stone unsettled. Okay, black wants that gigantic corner that is really, really thin looking. So two good options here. We can just jump out. The other move we could be considering here is a shoulder hit, which um, I gotta do a little bit of reading here. Mm. It's playable. It's playable. But I think jumping out is just fine. I'm not really looking for a really complicated game. I'm just looking to play good moves, despite what my name says. Um, I don't really want to make this side stronger yet because I, I have an invasion in here later. Uh, if black comes here on his next move, what's my plan? Does it come outside or inside? They're both... Uh, I don't know. I don't know, but I think black should come here next move. And I probably have to come inside and fight, although... Uh, that's a bad move. Black shouldn't take this yet. Um, although, of course, now black's probably really looking at this. Yep. Okay, so he prepped the cut. So black is saying he really wants me to take the inside, and that's why he played this move. Can I still play this, though? I can. Hmm. Let's play it anyway. I don't think this, uh, this peep here actually helped black enough to really turn this into a playable sequence. Um, Alright, pushing on the fifth line from behind violates so many Go proverbs. But really don't mind. Really don't mind. Yep. Because now we get to play like this. Uh, and how does this work? It seems to work pretty well. Three liberties to two liberties if I if black cuts and connects. What if black cuts and descends? Seems like we can play this. Um, I should be <clears throat> going through some of these sequences a little bit more slowly. Okay, Black's is going to submit. That's fine. Um, so we'll just connect. Black is squirming a little bit. If I play another move over here, uh, the center group gets really sad again. So I think this is very, very reasonable for me. Uh, Alright, a couple good shape points we have to consider. Uh, does this just, like, kill it? <laughs> Not super clean, but man, is it painful. So again, just a really safe move. Yep, black takes his peep immediately. And black will get that out. If I play here, black can't really jump. So if black extends, I can I can net here and completely surround that group. So then it comes down to cuts. I think I can do this. I think I can just play here. I don't think the cuts are that bad. Oh, 
I just told Black he couldn't do that. Why is he doing it? I don't understand. Okay. I thought this was a bad move for him. It's really difficult when your opponents don't listen to you, you know? You try to tell them the right thing to do. Um, yeah, just block. That's fine. Oh my gosh. He's taking every peep in the world. And he still might not be able to get two eyes. Oh, well, he's actually getting really close, to be fair. So we'll just block this way. Yep, he should take uh, something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right. <clears throat> Best way to just poke out this eye shape. So it just feels like pushing here is good, but... Uh, this move also feels nice. Is there any danger of black playing this first? I think we can just play this. Oh, right. Black can... Sort of make the second eye right there, so I actually don't have time to play this. Hmm. Well, if black really, really wants to make two really small eyes, and I'll take the entire outside, this is okay with me. Uh, is this better? This looks like it's best. Again, just peep at this shape. Hmm. All right, so what do I do now that I'm just killing everything? And it kind of looks like I can actually still kill this, which is the really scary thing. Um, of course, this moves kind of like Sente. Um... At least Sente to get out, right? Because I need to play there and there at the same time. So if Black plays their first, Black's alive. All right, well, let's definitely ask Black if he wants to keep this connected now that the eye, the eye shape over here is very much spoiled. And I think we can just keep him out of the corner. Now, the danger is if Black actually connects over here. Is there anything he can do against the corner? It doesn't really look like it on first glance. Um, but the connection, if he connects here, that, that does mean it is possible, not likely, but possible to get another cut and cut this group off. But it looks like black has too much to worry about. So black will just run. Very good. And we'll just be happy to take some points. That's a very small move, although it does threaten to get a little bit more eye space, which black would very much like right now. Black's in so much trouble. Hmm. I guess I take this first. <clears throat> Uh, and then let's just cap this. <laughs> um, this isn't anything, right? Let's keep surrounding. Uh, okay, so in this case, I think the move I want to play is here. Um, but then I didn't quite read any of this out yet, but... What? Does that guarantee two eyes? I guess it does. All right, black to live there. Good for black, man. Good for black. I'm just going to take a big point. Oh. <laughs> All right. Black wants to start another fight. Like, best case scenario, black lives really, really small right here. 
<clears throat> you know, maybe makes maybe five points, like best case scenario. So if you take these five points and you add them to these three points and these four points, what is that, 13 points, 12 points? So I'm just going to continue to take big stuff. And this move actually might not be severe enough. Uh, yeah, because black might play this, and um, even though white's, white still has stuff to do in here, which is the really crazy thing. Like, despite how many black stones has in this corner, I am not at all convinced whatsoever this corner is black's, which is amazing. Uh, so, how do we get in? Many ways, it looks like. I kind of want to play a move like this or this first. I also kind of want to... Uh, this doesn't really fix my connection. It does put a little pressure on these stones. We'll play this first, <clears throat> and then we'll plan to come back over here. Hmm... This almost works all right. Yeah, these all these moves like kind of work. Like they all they all do something. Is this which something is best? Um, after this game, I'll review and we we can we can play throughout through some of these. Um, but there's all kinds of good stuff in here because when you have this giant wall, and also this is a bad shape for black, you can do amazing things. All right, feels like here. Uh, okay. Black wants to go that way, which is fine. Uh, I play this and then attach, or just attach? I think I just attach. And I'm still sort of looking at this invasion point here too. Or I can just play this, right? Oh, no, I can't. I have to play this. Overtime one. countdown has begun. All right, so I guess Black's just going to let me in. Uh, if I play here... Uh, it's kind of difficult, actually. Yep, I'm, pretty, I'm, I'm becoming increasingly confident that I didn't play the ideal move here. Um, but... That's fine. Can I play here? If I play here and black descends, it doesn't quite look like I have life in the corner. So we'll just connect. Black's going to mind a shape, which is fine, which means I'll get in the corner anyway. And yes, there is a cut here, but again, I'm not very worried about it. I sort of already profited by getting into this corner. All right, so time to harass this. Hmm. I guess that's not much of a harassment. Um, Black's basically alive right there now. Nine. Could take away more eight, of this corner. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, I'll two, eat a me here. one, zero, um, two overtime this top, left. Actually, this this invasion is very possible for black right now after this move, and then black has this cut. So I'm going to try to fix that, I think, while threatening black is my current idea. So we'll just descend, try to take away part of this invasion. Okay. Sente, I guess, so that's good. Um, I mean, that's just points. So I guess we'll just take it. Uh, I guess that's a move. Well, even... Is it, is it late enough to defend? Yeah, 
we don't we don't need complications. It looks like we're going to have enough points. Uh, all right, so Black is trying to set up this uh, cutting sequence. I'm actually not sure it's a really good idea. Again, this doesn't really do a whole lot. I guess he's trying to split this this part off from the rest. But difficult to attack. So I want to take this peep. And this middle is actually I'm going to I'm going to start growing this a little bit more. I think but not till we after we pressure this. And just make sure my corner's safe. Okay, black defended. Um, black would very much sort of like to cut in here. This is just way too conservative of a move, but again, not a big deal. Uh, now this is most proper. I could, this is worth an extra point, but it does uh, start a risky, risky co. Which again, we don't really need. Yep, so Black's realizing that I can actually get all this uh, very soon. So that's good. Black should realize that. Um, I think there's a lawnmower right outside. Nine, eight. So I apologize if you can six, hear that. Five, four. We'll just play there. This is a very, very slow move, but again, it basically perfects all the connections. Uh, let's go after this a little bit. This cuts actually. If I if I just capture this stone, this cut's kind of a big deal. So, all right, that threatens to kill. Yep. So black prevented the death, which is fine. So we can actually still capture these two stones. I really kind of was hoping I'd have a play against this stick here, but it doesn't look like this type of move works. Nine, but I really want eight, it to. Seven, six, five, four, three. So we'll just cut this off. It's not really a real peep, right? Like, that's a really dangerous move for Black to be making right now. Uh, given the status of this stick. This peep was an overplay. Black was not entitled to that peep. Like, it, that's not a real move. You can't play that. Uh, or actually, maybe you can. <laughs> I, I take it back. That move you can play, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so a little mistake. Can I play here and just solve my problem? Nine. Let's play there. Bad timing. I should have done this first. At my after he extends, I should play there. Uh, I think that's a much better sequence. But we ate those stones, but that means black got to save those. Uh, this is actually getting big because otherwise black has big end game, but this is also really big. But we'll just take this one. Oh, right, there's an Atari here. I needed to connect here. Yes, oh, good for you.
black gets a little bit more endgame than he was supposed to. Uh, does that one work? It does work. Hmm. Wow. Good for you, Black. Good for you. You took away my potential here, where I had a lot more, you know, um, points. I felt I was entitled to, but I guess not really. Um, this doesn't feel like it's really that cuttable. Nine. Or is it? Eight. Seven. Actually, it is. Six. Five. Four. So we'll just play there. All right, no more cut. Oh, <laughs> Black's going to prove me wrong. Okay, you're just doing that. Yep. Okay, I will now go ahead and take this. Um, that might not be said big enough. Okay, Black thinks it is. Uh, of course, I can play here. Seems like best move. Black still needs to make two eyes. So again, black will end up with exactly, it looks like, four, maybe five points. Depending on if he gets two points here or one. So four and a half at this moment. Uh, black can actually throw in here and start this co, um, which is kind of cool. Let's do it. It's a super dangerous co for black, though. It's a, it's a really dangerous co for everyone. Let's see what the Tydrum SE says. It says white wins by 30. It's hard to believe I'm up by that many points, though. Like, my territories don't look that humongous. Like, I know I'm winning, but actually, I didn't expect it to be 30. All right, black will not start the uh, epic co for everything yet. So I'll just play there. And anything else? What's big? Um, I guess I will just respond. There's actually more potential points in here for me. Hmm. Not really anything. So let's play this. There is a potential shape problem in here for light white, but I don't think black has uh, any play to make for it. Uh, so let's just take these points. Black's entitled to push in, but I'll get another three or four points this way. This might not be the best move, but it's all right. Oh, you're gonna give me those points? Why? Is there Aji here? I don't see Aji. Normally Black would want to push in this way to take away an extra point. I'm not sure why he did it this way. Uh, cut to make this into a co for this stone. Also, it turns that more or less into a point because I won't want to start start it there now. Uh, yeah, I think I just take these points. Nine, eight. We'll do it this way. I mean, my group's alive here, right? There's no... That's a live shape. So I'm a little confused. Now I'm, I'm, I have a live shape, and I'm mostly connected minus this co. There is a co. But again, I don't really need it. Okay, we should have turned our attention back to this area a long time ago. What do I want to play? I can play there. Is that really that good? Nine. I guess eight. it is. Yeah. 
Um, do I want to make this exchange for that point? It looks like it's a wash, actually. So we'll just play there. Uh, if you play that one, two choices. That does make that sente. Uh, I guess that's just the same, or better, in fact. Hmm. I guess that's kind of worth something. Barely. Is this worth anything? We're down to like one and two point moves here. It's kind of sad. So let's take that one. Oh, where's my tea? Uh, yeah, I guess that's good for black. I'm just going to connect here first. That's a pretty big co at this stage in the game. But, you know, black's biggest territory on this board is this corner at 13 points. So, if your biggest territory is only 13 points... I don't think that's very good. Do I ever have to do anything over here? It doesn't look like it. Nine, eight, so, seven, co? six, five. Uh, as he says, score is made, I'm up by 40 now. That's before Comey's. So that's closer to 50, in fact. Oh, let me look at my rank here. Yep, two more two more games, and then we should be at three on. Black's assumption that he has more threats, and I don't really disagree with him. When you're winning by a lot, this is actually a bad threat. Yep. But I just don't have very many. I mean, I have a few. Uh, this is a negligible, it's a point, it's not a real threat though, because that gives black another threat. Actually, no, no, black threat actually loses points, so never mind. That's a threat. Um, I guess we play that one. Actually, it looks like black's only going to get 12 points here. Uh... Fine. Oh yes, there are the millions of threats this way. Hmm. So I guess we just take a two point move. Oh, are you real? You're not real, right? Doesn't look very real. And I guess we'll take another two point move. Uh, this is playing over here, it might have been bigger. Well, yeah, uh, no cut. That's a point, that's a point. I guess this is Sente. I guess we'll take that one. Mm hmm. Um, <laughs> Black has so many threats. It's better. I guess this is better. No, we'll just take it. It's fine. 
Oh, okay. Done fighting the co. Um, I guess I should have played that one a long time ago. Anything, anything? Looks like these little half point coves. Kind of bit. All right. Not a move. Well, it's a move, but I can make moves like that too, see? Moves that don't do anything. Let's request accounting. Uh, 41? Hmm. I thought it was going to be more after the last estimate. Uh, how do I do this? Thanks. Thank you. Alright, so we're going to review. And looks like he left. All right, so what went so wrong for black? I just, I, again, this is not very common. I don't really know what you're supposed to do against it, quite honestly. I don't know any sort of Joseki from this formation, but, you know, it's certainly playable, but I don't know. I'm happy just to play on, take outside both sides, and then do some invasion type thing later. You saw how little black ended up with, actually, in the game. Um, so, anyway... Playing here, this is this is like this is asking a lot of these two stones, right? This is the type of thing you do when you're you have like a you know really solid wall somewhere over here. You can put a lot of pressure on this stone. You can do these really daring kind of splitting moves, but I think there's just too much space. Number one and number two, these are really thin. So even if Black did have the opportunity to counterattack this stone, like White has resources to deal with it. So, you know, this is kind of a greedy, this is greedy, because now there's still invasion points, there's still an attachment, um, there's even the shoulder armpit hit kind of move. It's still very open. Uh, again, this is the move Black plays when he wants to play here, but even then, he never used the stone, right? Look how this works. In the end, it's, he jumped out anyway, you know, he, he didn't use the stone. Um, so there are some variations here that I read out kind of quickly. Um, the first is what happens when black plays this. And this looks uh, terrible for black. Um, but normally normally it depends on this white ladder. Um, if this move threatens to capture these two... Oh, sorry, sorry. White has to make this exchange. If this move threatens to capture these in a ladder and threaten to capture these, then this is good for white. Um, of course, this ladder actually does look like it's good for white. So this would totally work. This would work just fine. Um, but just in case, this was actually re read out this sequence, just in case that didn't work. And this also looks like it works very well for white. Like, these four black stones have nowhere, nothing to do. Like, can't just push, can't do this. Um, so I didn't even read it. And, you know, in the game, when I was reading this, uh, the move right before my double Hane, I wasn't even reading out the ladder. I was just reading out, well, if he cuts, what happens when I go this way? And... These just die. So Black just played this. This is really, really sad. So what should have Black done here? Number one, I don't think he spent enough time reading this out. Because this is a little bit more interesting than I think Black believed. Um, if I just take this, Black has this co-lock kind of thing. Um, but he can play this kind of a uh, simple variation. So just basically get his stones on the outside. And even though white has this this sort of cut here, uh, you know, this is a position. Like, black actually has the outside, and theoretically can still come back and attack the stick, and that's really what black wanted. So this is more of like what I thought was the type of thing black was going to do. Uh, but black decided he really liked this stone for some reason. And you guys who are watching this out there, you guys do the same thing. I know you. And he wanted to save that, and then he wanted to save this. And if you're trying to just play moves that really only save, you know, one group at a time, that's all the moves do, 
it's going to be a bad result. So this, this was a disaster in the end. Um, because this group here is really sad. It might, if black gets another move, right? Black could get another move here and maybe put some pressure on the corner and make sure he's alive. But he needs one more move to do that. In the meantime, this middle group is under severe attack and has no eyes. So it's like he needs to play two areas at once again. Um, and again, there's I don't think I don't think there's a really good black move. If black wanted to not get cut there, black would need to play this. Um, but this is what I read out in the game is that black still has the exact same problem. All right, so now let's find um, one of my mistakes because I I suspect I let black off the hook too easily here. Um, let's really just go out and try to kill this. Well, maybe, maybe I can after that move, actually. This, this move, I, I, for some reason, <laughs> was off my radar. But it actually makes a big difference. Because now black can play this shape. So. Um, of course we have this and this to kill. Oh, but it doesn't actually kill, does it? Doesn't actually kill. Just cuts. Uh, that wouldn't be so bad, though, actually. Getting getting this as, as perfect profit right now wouldn't be so bad. Um, but again, yeah, I, maybe I can't. Maybe I can't. Difficult, difficult. If I just play there. Kind of same thing. Actually, a little different. A little different. Uh, maybe... Maybe black just... No, that doesn't make it alive either. If I just play here... Hmm. <clears throat> How does black live? Start with that. That might be useful. And then play there. And now white can't do this because that white can't actually pop out the eye that way. And if white does this way, um, that just makes eyes. Maybe I can't kill this. But I think when wh if white just plays here, I think this is, this is the most um, brutal move. I think black's best response is actually there, which is really weird. Maybe it's still to play here. But this doesn't look right. Uh, if I take... Right, because there's this, which is Atari. Oh, no, no, okay, that works too. Never mind, everything works. Never mind, never mind. All right, original, here we go. So, again, I just pop out the eye shape and take away the potential for a base in my corner. I just take my points. Um, this move is, a, is kind of a strange move in the sense that, like, a lot of Dom players wouldn't make this type of move. Like, usually this is a bad exchange. Um, Q players will make this all the time, right? You guys who are watching this video... You're, you're probably like, play there, of course you play there. Um, but this is actually a much bigger question um, because there's, I'm, I'm leaving much stronger moves on the table, right? Later on, I might want to play this move. And, uh, you know, this this might just completely nullify any sort of eye shape over here. So, I don't know, maybe maybe I shouldn't have played it. I played it assuming that, that black was going to get some other moves over here and was going to make it solid anyway. So I might as well take that away right now, but I think that's I think that was faulty reasoning. Don't think I needed that yet at all. Um, I also assumed that when I played, I was I was still looking at coming on the outside anyway. I assumed this would actually help my shape on the inside and prevent these stones from getting in any trouble. Uh, yeah, and so at this point in the game, White has no problems. Like there's just no problems on this board. And meanwhile. Uh, this this black group is barely alive. This black group is barely alive, and uh, all black really has is this really thin-looking corner. So <laughs> I gave black a pretty reasonably sized corner here. I could I could have you know prevented this if I really wanted to. Um, but I mean, white gets everything on the outside, and again, white has no problems. It's not going to be hard for white to find enough points to win this game, because quite frankly, white doesn't need the very many points. 
Um, this sequence in the end worked out okay for me, but I have a lot of regrets. So let's try some other things. Let's see if white plays this stone first. Hmm. Of course, black just might give up like this and uh, take a lot of points this way, and that's fine. I mean, black can certainly feel entitled enough to do that. Feels like uh, if black does this, though, maybe white tries to get a free move here first. And let's see. Black does this, then we do this. Eh, maybe, maybe slightly better. Oh, that's kind of like Sente. Um, again, I'm just still looking at trying to get in here somehow and get in on both sides. Uh, this is also a possibility, but I don't think it quite works well enough um, in the situation. Uh, let's see what's best for black. It doesn't look like... Well, um, certainly worth reading, I guess. A lot of cuts. Looks like black has to descend. And white can't quite link up. White can take that. Oh, but that, yeah, that threatens to link up. Yeah, so that does link up. So that loops. So I could have just done that, that way. Other black choices. Uh, if black extends. Um, this also lives. Maybe I, could, maybe I should have just attached here. That would have probably been better. What if black does it this way? Um, feels like I can play here. Maybe I can't though. Um, I think I can. Do I have to take this stone right now? I mean... No, that might be bad shape. Maybe I have to take this Atari. This is, uh... <laughs> really dangerous. Not something to try at home, kids. There also might be much better lines here than the crazy things I'm playing. I'm just trying to play very crazy things. Alright, so what do we learn? I think I should have just played there. <laughs> well, I think this is even better for me than in the game and trying to make something work on both sides. Um, because here, I don't think black's only option is to connect. I don't think that stone is very important, actually. So I think black should just play here. And then when white connects here, um, now black can connect. And I think black was worried about like this being a free move or something, but it's really not. Right? Even black can still cut. Like, black shape is fine. Um, black could tanuki here, or s save the stone, and if white tanukis later on come back and kill that. So, yeah, my play actually didn't get very... It shouldn't have gotten very much. So this is this this is a bad, bad move. This sequence. But I think it worked because I played two really threatening-looking moves uh, inside of black's territory. So that probably frightened brat black, and... I got a little bit more stuff right. This is a very slow move. Got a little more than I was entitled to. Uh, okay. And then this, I was basically just responding around the board again. There's no big black territory anywhere. Uh, very difficult to find something for black to attack, right? There is this cut in here, especially after this move. Um, see, if I played... I don't, I don't think white's in any big trouble. But there is this cut that white would have to figure out a way to deal with. And it's not easy. It's not easy. This might work. No, it doesn't quite work. Because black can actually just play there now. Um, complicated, actually. Black cuts this way. White well, can cut this way, and then push out here. And actually this stone is uh, kind of helpful. 
I guess black would actually, this net doesn't work right, because black can, if, what does white do? If white nets this, black can push this way first. And then come here. Uh, of course, this, this becomes still a giant capturing race. Uh, let's see, black has essentially four liberties. Oh, black, actually black can't play there. That's funny. Um, white has five liberties, but black, so black should get more liberties. But maybe, well, no, I guess black goes that way. This gets black a lot of liberties very quickly. Hmm, hmm, confusing, difficult, difficult. So there, there is this potential for a cut. And white can start this capturing race, though. I'm not at all confident white can win. Uh, maybe white can just play here. Does this just work? It gives black a lot of compensation, though. Oh, and actually, it doesn't work. It does work. It does work. Okay. I mean, this is... I know this is only one stone, but black ended up playing a lot of endgame moves over here and ended up with, what, was it four points? Five points. Who got the move? I think I, I, think I got it. So I think black ended up getting four points. Um, if black plays this way, black might get as many as six, seven. So, I mean, that's pretty... And also, I made four points here, right? So if I don't make those four points, and black gets seven points instead, so it's like it's like it's a seven-plus point move. Uh, so I just played here and here. And here I made a mistake. All right, so here I'm pretty sure I should net just first. And even though this net doesn't quite work, right? Because black can play here, and if white plays here, what you know, black can capture these stones. Um, the difference is that black. Well, I guess black. After I take this, yeah. Never mind. Never mind. This didn't work. I thought black wouldn't have time to play play this way. Oh man, that thing is loud. I apologize. Hold on, let me just pause it. All right, I think it's a little quieter now. I also, my camera keeps slipping, just slowly sliding down like this, or uh, off the back of the computer, I should say. We're just kind of obnoxious. All right, so this actually doesn't work for white. So never mind, this net doesn't actually, I thought it would short the liberties enough so that I could have time to make this cut and then capture these three, but it doesn't, so I, overplayed a little bit maybe yeah and here if I just play there black doesn't get those points so I think this is like a point better connecting that way well then I don't get then black doesn't get that uh, I don't know I don't know like I always have to capture I ended up capturing that anyway in the game so now there's really no cut and the rest is not very interesting oh right there's this thing so there's this and then there's this <laughs> And this, this was the super dangerous thing that I thought black should try, actually. Um, of course, it stakes... This is, this, is, this is huge for everybody, right? Because let's say black has to find a really valuable threat, right? Let's say that. And listen, that's probably not even valuable enough. Um, maybe something over here? I don't know. But if black's threat isn't really valuable, white will actually cut through and kill the whole corner. So this, this co is just monstrous. Like, we're talking, how many points are involved here? Uh, let me do a quick count. Uh, is this really, this is like a 60 point co? Is it, can it be that big? <laughs> is that right? 10 for white, 10 for black. I think it's like 60 points. Uh, which is crazy. So, of course, I mean, black's behind. Black should do this. Um, but he can't find threats, I don't think. Like, so it, won't, it won't, actually doesn't really matter. So, yeah. Uh, all right, I think that's enough. Uh, one more game, one more game we should be playing at 3 Dawn, in theory. So we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. I, uh, I really hope you guys enjoy these games. Um, I know I don't take them too seriously, and I hope that doesn't impact them. You know, maybe, you, I bet you guys are probably more interested in watching, like, really serious games. Um, but again, I don't really want to do any sort of, like, live 
I don't even like when I'm playing a really serious game. I don't, I don't even really like to be on camera or to have other people watching. So, you know, this, this is kind of a happy medium for me right now. All right. Thanks again. Yeah.